Old Sultan, Part 2, by the Grimm Brothers. Wife, go home and give him a good dinner, and let him have my old cushion to sleep on as long as he lives. So from this time, Sultan had all that he could wish for. Soon afterwards, the wolf came and wished him joy, and said, Now, my good fellow, you must tell no tales, but turn your head the other way when I want to taste one of the old shepherd's fine fat sheep. No, said the sultan, I will be true to my master. However, the wolf thought he was in joke and came one night to get a dainty morsel. But the sultan had told his master what the wolf meant to do. So he laid wait for him behind the barn door, and when the wolf was busy looking out for a good fat sheep, he had a stout cudgel hit in his back. Then the wolf was very angry, and called Sultan an old rouge, and swore he would have his revenge. So the next morning the wolf sent the pig to challenge Sultan to come into the wood to fight the matter. Now Sultan had nobody he could ask to be second but the shepherd's old three-legged cat. So he took her with him, and as the poor thing limped along with some trouble, she stuck up her tail straight in the air. The wolf and the wild pig were first on the ground, and when they spied their enemies coming, and saw the cat's long tail standing straight in the air, they thought she was carrying a sword for Sultan, to fight with, and every time she limped, they thought she was picking up a stone to throw at them. So they said they should not like this way of fighting, and the pig lay down behind a bush, and the wolf jumped up into a tree. Sultan and the cat soon came up, and looked about and wondered that no one was there. The pig, however, had not quite hidden himself, for his ears stuck out of the bush, and when he shook one of them a little, the cat, seeing something move, and thinking it was a mouse, sprang upon it, and bit and scratched it. So that pig jumped up and granted, and ran away, roaring out, Look up in the tree! There sits the one who is to blame. So they looked up and espied the wolf sitting amongst the branches, and they called him a cowardly rascal, and would not suffer him to come down till he was heartily ashamed of himself, and had promised to be good friends again with Alt Sultan. The End